my beautiful people. Good afternoon, because it's afternoon. If you watched yesterday's vlog, you'll know that it's 12.30 in the afternoon and I'm starting it super late. So yes, um, today has been exciting so far, been to B&Q, got new bookshelves, which are gonna hopefully get built tomorrow. And my, one of the walls in the room that I call my library, sorry, excuse the eating noises, by the way, that's very, um, so one of, well, my spare room, I call it the library, one of the walls is basically becoming a wall full of bookcases, so I can display some of my collectible toys, I can display all my books, I can have favourite shelves, I can put some of my pops on it, I'm going to have a bookshelf wall in theory, which I'm very, very excited about because just now I have randomly dotted bookshelves kind of all over the place and everything's kind of, it's a whole thing and it's a whole mess. So these bookshelves I am so excited about. So been to Bean Q and done all that today and just got home. So I am going to pop into Becca Sprints because Becca's currently sprinting. I'm on page 487 of Aquar. Look at me go. There's 697 pages, I believe, of Aquar. Can I finish that today? Possibly, because I don't really have any other plans. So, fingers crossed, I can get a good chunk of it at least. Uh, I'm off work again today because I've still got a claw situation. It's due my head in. I'm starting to get frustrated. I'm getting annoyed. And it's kind of annoying me mentally. And I'm just feeling a little bit down and frustrated with it because my health just does my head in. So yeah, that's that's really annoying. But I can't complain about it. There is worse people off than me. I'm very fortunate. Even though I've got some problems, I'm still relatively fortunate. So I shouldn't be so hard on myself, but unfortunately I am. But here we are. Also had a bit of a mental moment the other day. When I say the other day, I mean yesterday. When I kind of was feeling that I shouldn't be doing daily vlogs anymore because I was scared that they were going to become boring. So I kind of thought that I was going to go to weekly vlogs. But then I spoke to Danielle and Shell and they've kind of made me realise that if I'm doing something I enjoy doing, why should I stop doing it? Just because... I'm worried about what people think but I think that's just a natural response to be worried about how people kind of think of you and perceive you but because I really enjoy daily vlogging I'm going to continue doing it for just now anyway until I run out of steam but while I'm still enjoying it why should I stop doing it so daily vlogs are still going to continue because I am a glutton for punishment and I love and enjoy doing them and yeah, I want to look back in like five years time and be like, what was I doing on Sunday the 13th of February in 2022? And I can look back and I can see what I did. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I've been talking for way too long. I am gonna go and get my life sorted. Um, I'll wait. Can you bring it on YouTube? Um, Archie Charlena, I think he's 
So that's the beginning of March. PPR thing because you know in the next month it's going to screw them over and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't have a PPR game <laughs> I want to know how much it is so it's now 5.53pm and I've just been sitting on Becca's sprints and I got about 70 pages read, which isn't too bad considering I joined late. And I had a shower in one of the sprints as well. And I've toned my hair a little bit. It's starting to look less fluorescent yellow and more just fluorescent. I really need to get a dye over the top of it that's like a natural blonde because I forgot that my roots were going to lift this much because I've not dyed my hair in two years I've kind of forgotten how it works but never mind I have been reading Aquar I've got 140 pages left and my aim is to finish it tonight um that is my plan anyway so I'm gonna watch back on Danny's sprints on Friday that I was on because it's comedy gold and I think I just need that to entertain me and make me feel better today so I'm going to watch that and then read the end of Aquar and then get my vlog for it, uh, finished editing it and then get it uploaded because I have a lot of thoughts and feelings about this book and I'm getting to the stage that it's now really, really intense and I'm kind of flying through it. Even being a slow reader, I'm now flying through it. So I'm very, I feel very tense. I'm very anxious and something sad's just happened and it broke my heart and I didn't even see it coming and that broke my heart. It's so sad. Um, Yeah, I just, I feel there's just gonna be heartbreak from this moment forward. I can just feel it. And I've got some predictions of what I think is gonna happen. And I've put that in my Aquar vlog, but I, I just have a really bad feeling and I just think that it's gonna happen. And that makes me really sad because I really don't want it to happen. But I've just put my dinner on. So I'm having chicken, potato croquettes and pigs and blankets with gravy. That's what I'm having for my dinner. So it's kind of like a roast, but it's not really. Um, last night when I went out for dinner, by the way, I had scampi and chips and peas. I love scampi. I don't think about what scampi is because that freaks me out and then I don't want to eat it. But... I had that and then I had a side of like buttermilk style southern fried chicken goujons. They were delicious. Absolutely adored them. So that was last night because I don't think I told you what I ate. And in case you care, I just thought I'd share. Um but yeah, so I'm gonna I'm just waiting for my dinner. I've got maybe five, ten minutes left until till it's ready. So I'm excited about eating that. Uh once I've eaten that, I'm gonna finish this book and hand update because I've not actually done that the claw is currently almost declawed and I have feeling in this bit of my palm which is really nice but the only thing is the feeling is pain so I'm kind of dreading all the feeling coming back in my hand now because I feel like it's going to be painful but I'd rather have a painful hand than a hand that I can't feel or move or do anything with so progress but painful progress but I'll take it but I'm gonna go now because I've given you a big enough update and I will see you all soon watching shells new vlog you haven't watched already what are you doing with your life do it so I didn't finish my book, and that's okay.
I have been on video chats with the girls and that's fine. But the same account that put a comment on the monotonous account, uh, the monotonous comment, basically stri striked again this evening. The same profile. Um, they've got no videos, they've got nothing. It's obviously a fake account that has been created to basically cyber bully people. And they went on a little joyride this evening and they commented a couple of times on my videos, but they also commented on a friend's video. And I'm really annoyed. I'm annoyed that someone feels the need to pick on people and hide and to be perfectly honest I think it's embarrassing and people aren't stupid people click to who would act that way and it's pretty much known who it is and it's not big and it's not clever and everyone can see you so even though you think you're hiding you're actually not because you've made it obvious and I just feel sorry for you that you feel the need to behave like that and the comments that you said to me they weren't nice but they weren't the worst things in the world but what you said to my friend was absolutely disgusting and you should be truly disgusted with yourself and I mean disgusted because for something like that to even be thought about another human being is just awful and I think that you've made your point quite clear and none of us are standing for it none of us and we're not going to put up with it and like i said it's been made pretty obvious who this person is and just know that we all see you that was yeah we all see you and we know who you are and yeah it's not good it's really not good that you feel the need to behave like that and try and upset people it's not good at all and on that note I'm gonna go to my bed I've said everything I need to say sorry it's ending on a bit of a downer but it's just the way it is the account's been reported for cyberbullying and harassment for both um my account and my friend's account and yeah i hope you all have a lovely day and i'll see you tomorrow have a nice day